Hi, and welcome back to the fourth part of building a SAS using Django and Vue.js. I have created some base templates and also made it possible to sign up and log in. I will improve this later because they really need some TLC. I will build SKNIL as a super simple MVP at first, and then I will start to improve it. MVP stands for Minimum Viable Product, and it means that I want to make a working version of the project first, and then I will start to make improvements. In this part, I will start to build the basic dashboard for the project. First, I will go to the command line and stop the web server. To create the dashboard app, I will first create an empty folder inside the apps folder called dashboard. Dashboard. To create the actual Django app, I write python manage start app and then the name dashboard and then the location app dashboard. Hit enter. I need a folder inside the dashboard called templates with a folder called dashboard inside there again. Apps dashboard template Let's dashboard. Dash p means that it will be recursive. Without this, we would have to create the templates folder first and then the dashboard folder. Now we can add the dashboard app to the list of installed apps inside settings.py. So I go to the editor and find settings.py, and below here I add apps.dashboard and save. I want to keep extending the base template we have created, but we still need a template for the dashboard. So inside dashboard templates dashboard, I create a new file called dashboard.html. I can just copy the contents of login.html, remove this, and replace with dashboard. Below here, I want a couple of columns. Class, columns, div, class, column is three. Div, class, and I want to add a card per link I want to add here. First, I just want to add some demo content. Card, card link, div, class, card content, div, class, media. Div class media content. P class title is four. Link title and below media, I want to add a div class content. This is the link description. And I also want a footer below here. Footer class footer content. Sorry, card footer, and I want two links here. Card footer item, target blank, because I want this to open in a new tab. Visit. Footer item, edit. And then I can copy this column, paste two more of it, or how many you want, and then we can save it, because we don't need any more here just to test it, but we need to create a new view for this too. So open up views.py inside dashboard. And uh, first, I need to import the login required decorator again. Django.contrib.auth.decorators. Import login required. I need this to make sure that the user is logged in. I need this to make sure that the user is logged in. If not, he or she will be redirected to the login page. Next, let's create the dashboard view. First, I add the login required. And then, def dashboard, pass in the request, return render request, 
dashboard slash dashboard.html and save. I want to separate all the URLs for the dashboard to a separate file. So in the dashboard app folder, create a new file called urls.py. I need to import uh, one thing from Django. From Django.urls import path. And I need to import the dashboard view we just created. Dot, dot views import dashboard url patterns equals it's just a list path this can be empty for now pass in the view and the name dashboard as you can see the path is empty i will show you why in just two seconds save this file and open up urls.py inside the SCNIL folder it's this one Inside the URLs pattern, I want to include the URLs file we just created. So here we can say path app. That's what I want the path for the whole dashboard to be. Include apps.dashboard.urls. And that's the file we just created. So when the path here is app slash, you will be sent there. That's why the path in the other URLs file could be empty. I also need to import the include. I can just paste it here behind path. We also need to change the login constant inside settings.py. That's here, dashboard. So when you're logged in, you will be redirected to the dashboard instead of the front page. If you now go to the browser and try to go to slash app, we should be redirected to the login page. If I log out first, I have to start the server. Refresh. Okay, I'm logged out. App. You see now, I'm logged out and up here you can see that next will be slash app because I will be redirected there when I'm logged in. Perfect, and here are the dashboard we created, logout button and the three links. This is just demo content, but, we'll, but we will add better later. We don't have any data yet to present on the dashboard, so we can create a new app where the bookmarks and categories will live. So we can go to the command line and stop the web server, and create a new folder called bookmark inside here bookmark. We also need to start the actual app manage.py start app bookmark apps bookmark hit enter. Also need to create a templates folder here again and get there dash p apps bookmark templates bookmark. I can now start the server again and just go back to the editor I can copy the contents of dashboard.html and find the bookmarks templates there and create a new file called categories.html. Most of the content can just be like this, but replace dashboard with categories and save. Also need to create a view for the categories. So I go to views.py and I need to import the decorator again from decorators import login required and then I create the view add the decorator def categories request return render request bookmark slash categories dot html which is the file we just created i also need to add this view to the url pattern inside dashboard dot urls i don't want a separate urls file just for this so i scroll down there then i import the categories view from apps dot cat 
bookmark.views import categories below here I can say path categories categories name categories so now the URL will be app slash categories then we can save I also need to add the bookmark app to settings.py again apps.bookmark to test this we can add the link to this page in the base.html file base.html and over the navbar end I create div class navbar start and add one link URL and pass in categories categories also need to add a class to this one navbar item but we don't want to show this at all time just for the users who are authenticated so I can copy this if and do like this so this link will only show when you are authenticated and save so now we can go to the browser again to test this refresh so now you can see categories up here and when I click it we are redirected to the categories page I also want to do one more thing today and that is to include the style sheet we created in one of the first videos to do this we need to work with something called static files first I want to make sure that static files is included in the installed apps so go back to VS code and find settings.py and here I can see that static file is represented if I scroll to the bottom I think that the default URL to the static files also should be set and then I need to make a change to the base template again base template and on top here I say load static so Django will load all the static files below here I can add a link rel style no, static which is a function that will generate a path styles main.css type text slash css and save but I also need to do one more change to the settings.py because I need, need to add a static folder where we can put the style sheets. Static files there's equals the list os.path.join base there static. And then we can save. This will point to a folder in the root which I will create now, mk there, static it will point to this I need to change the grunt file to make sure that the main.css is put inside here instead of the media folder first I can create the static styles this is where I want them to be located not inside the media folder as I did in the first episode I can open up grunt file.js and change this to static and save so if I now go back to the command line and run grunt says hit enter the file should be placed inside the static folder static styles there perfect now we can start the web server again and see if it's working refresh if I see the page source now I can see that it's pointing to this file static slash styles dot main CSS here's the content of main CSS and that's it for today in the next part of the series I will make it possible to add categories and show them in the dashboard if you want notification when the next part is published you can subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell